Hi, this is AI Keith David. Dr. K was trying to figure out how he created the safe login lockout system on October 16th, Tuesday v in game time, 2020. The scene is this. Dr. K's laboratory. Dr. K, a brilliant scientist, is standing in front of a computer console, deep in his vault. He's wearing his lab coat was a wireless antenna on the side of his neck. He puts on the VR helmet and begins to devise a plan. October 16th, 2020. The day I cracked the mystery behind the DR Gang's love and lockout system. People have been trapped inside the game. The consciousness trapped within their virtual avatars. But I believe I found a way to safely lock in and lock them out. Dr. K walks over to a table and picks up a small device, the Game Launcher app, which she has created specifically for this purpose. It's time to make the game a true online experience by installing this launcher app directly into my cyber brain. I can establish a direct connection between the VR helmet and my consciousness. Then, Dr. K puts on the VR helmet, disconnects the wireless antenna, and boots up the game from within the helmet. He seals his consciousness being pulled into the virtual world, becoming one with his video game avatar. Dr. K, now in the game world. I'm now in the game, but I must ensure a safe way to log out. My avatar doesn't have a mind as a tone, so I need to find a way to return to my cyber brain, to my real self. Then Dr. K concentrates, focusing his thoughts on moving his consciousness back up to his cyber brain. He feels the sensation of ascent as his consciousness rises out of the game, then back into his cyber brain. Now, Dr. K, in his laboratory wearing the VR helmet, thinks to himself. I've made it back to the real world, but the challenge lies in preventing my consciousness from falling back into the game when I connect the wireless antenna. Dr. K takes a deep breath and with determination boots up the game launcher application in the cyber brain. As he does so, he connects the wireless antenna on his neck. Dr. K with his eyes closed now, in his laboratory. Now, with the Game Watcher application running, and the wireless antenna connected, my digitized consciousness is protected from falling back into the game, allowing him to see the real world simultaneously. Dr. K, with his sitter, thinks to himself, the game will be good at some of this eye as serving as a separate computer screen displaying the game world. His right eye remains open, allowing him to see the Wii world. My left eye, there's a window to the game world. While my right eye can they me to reality, I've made it back to the real world. The idea is... This ensures that my consciousness remains grounded in my cyber brain. Dr. K starts to move around, controlling his character in the game world, while simultaneously receiving feedback and sensory information from the game world back to the cyber brain. Dr. K now can be in the game world. I can now interact with the virtual environment, navigate through the game, and gather information. Everything my character experiences is sent back to my cyber brain. Dr. K now smiles, realizing the potential of the safe lock and knockout system. The system allows me to solely must myself in the game while maintaining a safe connection to reality. It's a breakthrough that will have countless people lock in and lock out of the VR game without getting trapped ever again.